Anytime there's a new update on DVD, we get an avalanche of people on the forums and across social media declaring very loudly that the game is about to die. And it's about to die because it's too one-sided. And don't get me wrong, I don't see a problem if you think that the game leans a bit towards survivor or leans a bit towards killer, but if you're one of those people that really believes that this game is extremely survivor sided or extremely killer sided, I think you're believing in a myth. And in this video, I'm gonna try to explain why I think that is. Now, if we want to settle this debate in the most objective way possible, the first thing we should look at is statistics. Unfortunately, the developers have not shared them with us recently, but the last time they did, they were hovering around the 60% kill rate in favor of Killer. And according to them, this is the ideal number that they aim for. And this is not initially very intuitive. Why would they aim for 60% instead of 50% if they want to balance the game right on the middle? But it actually does make sense when you account for the asymmetrical nature of Dead by Daylight. If we have four players on one side and one player on the other, and we assume that each player has a small chance to make a massive mistake, this only benefits the killer. And it doesn't need to be mistakes, it can be anything. Let's say that every player in the lobby has a chance to make a huge blunder and then quit on the spot or their controller dies at the worst possible time, something that automatically loses them the game. On killer, we have a small chance for this happening, but on survivor, the chances for at least one of these things happening across all of them are actually much, much higher. And guess what? If one survivor dies, that typically means that other survivors die with them, because that's how the game works in DVD. So the average looks good, but maybe this isn't enough for some people. You could argue that if you have a person with zero dollars in a room and a person with a million dollars in a room, their average doesn't really matter. It doesn't actually describe the reality of these people. So maybe the average kill rate doesn't describe the reality of the average Dead by Daylight game. But again, if we go by their own statistics, they have claimed that since the introduction of MMR, which is the new matchmaking system, the games are now more fair on both sides. The way the MMR works is that it tries to pair average players with other average players that do more or less the same in terms of performance. And this should mean that on average, each game has a better chance than before at being less one-sided. And this, again, is not enough for some people. Some people are like, well, I don't care about the average because I'm a very good player. I'm actually top highest 1% MMR. I'm extremely good at the game. And at my level, the game is clearly one-sided, either for killer or for survivor. And this is where the interesting part of the video now truly begins. Even if we assume that both sides, Killer and Survivor, are high MMR and presumably high level, there are still a lot of factors that can easily decide which side will win. Most important, in my opinion, is experience. If you have a side with 5000 hours and one side with 500 hours, the side with more hours will more often than not win. There's also the matter of resources. In this game, you are allowed, but not forced, to bring a lot of strong items, add-ons, and so on. If one side brings almost nothing and the other one is stacked, the stacked side will often win. And needless to say, if one of the sides is just chilling and not trying very hard, they don't have a massive advantage over someone that is actually trying their best. And finally, of course, there's luck. Sometimes you can be objectively better than your opponent and still lose due to bad RNG or some random thing that you could not control. And that, for the most part, is a necessary evil. And alright, now that we've laid all of this out, we can begin to account for these factors. First, we will invite several players, all of which have thousands and thousands of hours of experience, to make sure that they're all on a level playing field and to account for the experience side. Next, we're going to tell them to use anything and everything they want in the game to make sure that they all have access to the exact same resources on each side. Then we're going to ask them to try their absolute hardest and do anything it takes to win to make sure that everyone is on the same mindset. And of course, we'll be playing multiple times to account and negate the factor of luck. What we're essentially doing here is getting some of the best players in the world to show us what each side can do when there's no limits and they do their absolute best. And after five games of pure sweat from both sides, the killers managed to kill, on average, 2.4 survivors. This is exactly 60%, and even though it's a very small sample of just five games, it's actually quite in line with the results that we've seen in similar experiments that have been done in the past. 
For example, this showcase hosted by Wispy had 30 games and on average the killers got 2.16 kills, which is 54%. Overall, we can say, I think pretty confidently that across the board and even at the extremes, Dead by Daylight is objectively pretty well balanced. But make no mistake, the only reason there's a semblance of balance is because both sides have access to some really insane things. And how insane are we talking? Well, I'm gonna show you my two favorite games from this showcase, and you're gonna be able to see for yourself. Oh my goodness! We oh see my side. goodness! This is a 50-50 though. No, it's not a 50-50. It's 100, because there's a yeah. more. Oh, it's a 50-50 that we could go to... Okay, it's a 50-50 that we could go to Disturb Ward. Big map, big yeah. lots of RNG, huge, huge spread, or uh, the more lenient uh, chapel, which is still pretty insane if you know how to play it. It's still really, really insane. Yeah, that is true. Chapel is not a map up at all. The, the pallets are really safe, and uh, it depends. You can yeah. have good genlocks for killer, though. <gasps> oh, oh, Starstruck, Yaku Yoke Amulet, Modern Daughter Ring Spirit. Awaken the Wemps. <gasps> And okay. they got Disturbed War, which is the better of the two maps. Okay. Oh okay. my. Okay, now it's interesting. This is a very oh. all or nothing build. All right. Is this going to work out? That is the question. Uh, This is a big... Ooh, that's a thing that can happen? She tried can to you, get the hit through the little you, gap. Can you hit that? I don't know. I think the okay. survivor doesn't want to find out. Right, <laughs> so... This knows. Uh, are you familiar with the numbers of these add-ons, Hens? Oh. What's that? What? Ooh, that was perfect nice. timing on the dollback. Whoa! Oh, excellent Laurie, play timing. from or Lori that just waited the right amount to psych the killer out. Okay, okay. Nice job. Nice. They wouldn't fall twice for the same trick. No. Nope. Oh, all right. No, pause instantly back. They are so quiet as that. Oh, nice job. Wait, I think they dropped know? from the same side. They dropped from the same side, didn't they? Okay, but now this survivor is all the way in the corner. Can you actually yeah, make there's this no work? There's no way. This is question. a terrible map for this. I'm not even sure a uh, Starstruck will happen. Oh, wait, it did happen. These two are hit. Oh, <gasps> I don't know what is happening. No! No! No, get out of there, Ace! No! No, 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 no! no. Oh, no! God, you hate to see it. Now we have two downs right next to each other. Oh, <gasps> whoa! And the other is person. Drop him? The yes. other person is. The other person is still starstruck, so... Oh... Oh my god, awaken awareness, he didn't see it coming. Oh my god, that is actually really brilliant. What a build, what a build. I respect that, the fact that they went for this. That that took a lot of courage from the killer. This <laughs> bill could easily fall, yes. fall far right off with a, bad, with a bit of a bad start. It actually seems like an all or nothing strategy. Yep, it really is. That's so crazy. With agitation though, her terror radius becomes a bit larger, so it's actually a bit easier to hit everyone with Starstruck. Uh, predictably, nothing's gonna happen here for a little while, but... Uh, I'm guessing a stage but, uh, two is gonna get sick here. They can pick up the, the ace. <gasps> no, oh, they can't! Uh, she's body blocking! This is crazy, there's only one person, and the killer knows that there's only one person because uh, Jen was finished across the map. Stage oh, two! Did they get in time? No, it didn't happen. Oh my god, bad. It didn't happen. <gasps> but two okay, downs. Two down, but only one stage for the killer so far. Now the build is known. Now wait, it's all uh, out of the water. Wait, 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 wait. There's no way. Starstruck could trigger again? Uh, Hans, Hans, fill me in. Why is the killer not picking up? I am. The, 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 the AS has been redound. He could be hooked at least, right? I don't. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe, maybe he wants to get everything right now. No, he's going back for the hooks. I think he was looking for Laurie. Oh, to be please! We need to pick up the right person here. Deliverance. It would be probably in the back of your mind, thinking that this person could have it. Oh, oh! They want to see with awakened awareness. Interesting. They're scouting ahead, hitting her, everyone but... with Starstruck. Oh, the pickup is coming through, but no, it's not. Oh wow! Oh, the killer's going straight. Wait, oh, you know? they found oh. Nick, who is exposed, 100% exposed. And I think 100% going down also. She's dying, Connor. Oh, no. Okay, there's only one survivor left standing. What is happening, dude? <laughs> Hold me. I'm scared. I'm not playing in this, and I'm scared. <laughs> this is awful. All right, uh, the killer did a bit of an assumption there. Uh, and this survivors make no mistake. Oh they are I well cornered in here. This is a jungle gym, but it's against a hard corner that they cannot easily escape from. Oh no. 
Oh, nice job. Wait, oh, insane that was death heart. What? That was an insane Excuse play. Excuse me? What? What is going on? All but right. The prediction coming out. Oh, oh, oh. There was oh, a oh. step. Oh, my God. They had a syringe on, him, on them. Oh. No, there was a med kit, I think. Oh, dear. Unless it was a graphic bug, but I saw. Yeah, it might have been. It might have been. It might have been. Maybe it wasn't that hard. It certainly did look like it, and this girl should have it if she's been poked, but we'll check. Oh, we'll definitely smart. check. That was really nice. They faked the. <gasps> oh, my Ooh, God. With agitation. A bit of patience would have been deadly there. Oh, my. Nice try from the survivors trying to get a rescue out of that really hairy situation. And these add-ons are just showing their full strength in here. Uh, Monitor Ring gives a whooping 40% extra speed, which is out of the insane on a killer this fast. And the Yakuyoki Amulet allows you to use your power for three and a half extra seconds. On top of that, because of the way the spirit is coded, it also indirectly makes you recover a significant amount faster, about 60% faster from the top of my head. And a Starstruck oh, happens with five seconds left to go. Man, wow. This snowball is unreal on this one. And this is, mind you, one of the worst map survivors uh, could send the killer to. Yes. That's crazy, dude. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, for a Does brief... Does she make anything? I think uh... she makes this one. Uh... Killer waits, killer waits. Damn, that's insane internal timing. Mm -hmm. Oh, a crouch happened to try to throw the killers off. Remember that when you crouch, you do become a bit quieter. And I don't think Nancy has anything. Does she? That looks like the first kill. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a pickup happened. Killer did an M1 to, as if to anticipate the decisive. And lethal, uh, sorry, uh, Awakened Awareness did show briefly where the survivors were, but seems our killer is interested in the juiciest of the targets. You! The Ada! Oh no, he completely ignored the ace. Oh man. All right, uh, Spirit took her chances to find the two healing survivors, but it seems difficult. A Starstruck is now off cooldown. <gasps> Wait, excuse me, how? Okay. Difficult, but not impossible. Does she have a third add-on to just get a GPS read on the survivors? How? <laughs> that is insane, hello? What kind of clues and hints did she follow to find them there? All right, well, Spirit's gonna zoom across the map. She's gonna hear the cells split on the survivor's body. And yep, good luck. That was insane. Yeah, nothing to do. Oh my god, the FOB tank! <laughs> oh my lord, on. Zaka making a falling wall look survivor sided against a modern daughter in spirit. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. That being said, uh, I think it's pretty obvious uh, that this is it. Uh, Dan has been on the ground for almost four full minutes. Uh, Kaz, the Ada, was the last hope of this team, and it's now crumbling away. Yeah, what a so match, dude. What a match. Awakened Awareness Starstruck Spirit. Wow. And survivors are dead. GG's. Holy. I, don't know. I would have not expected Starstruck. Jesus, that incredible, was... dude. And, and mind you, these are the best survivors in the world, so you can't even be like, oh, they just played bad. It's <laughs> just build. insane, dude. What is going on? One, two box. Okay. Wow. Who did they send to Larry's? So that's, oh that's my rage. god, that's not good for you! You're all gonna oh, die, you fools! Of rage. Floods of rage. Okay. Okay. Right, so so what does Larry's have? Good pallets. What does this what does this killer do? Eat pallet for breakfast. Like this is impossible. Oh, How are they gonna this win is... this? He's okay, got no need to pursue. Camp on 33. And he's already oh. found someone. He doesn't need it. This is impossible. There's, there's no okay. way they Oh, it would win pallets or comp on 33. What? What is happening? Oh my god. Very nice. First hit coming in, and now Dan knows it's comp on 33. Pallets are useless. The thing about Larry's is it has a lot of pallets, but like, so, I don't know how useful that is. I, I told you that Corrupt would destroy survivors on Larry's. It's really difficult to find your first gen. Oh my god. And oh my god. and this good pallets mean nothing against the skill. They're just a little suggestion. <laughs> okay, oh, a Styptic was. Yeah, Styptic was used on the very first chase. Imagine Interesting. how important this chase is to extend it by even just a little bit. Oh, a full stun happened! The only nice. way you're gonna buy any time against this killer with this add-on. Impressive. Does it mean anything? Oh, this Does dude, this away, ace though. is actually playing this insanely well. <gasps> oh my god, the fact that that was even close! They crouched at the corner and got away. Oh my god. No, they're stuck at the pallet. Yeah, no, 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 they don't, they, don't, they, don't, they don't get away from this, do they? Oh... 
Alright, kind of okay. And... <laughs> I can't believe how well that was handled by the ace. Yeah. A damn living up hopeless, to his name. But that was... That styptic was actually disgusting. <gasps> no, they, they, didn't let... Lucas pain rest. they didn't let go quickly enough. And that's a bad oh sign. God, the if they're all know... three there. The blight doesn't know which gen. It doesn't matter. He can just, he can just check. You don't need barbecue if you drop it faster than light. You are the barbecue. Oh, oh floods. Does he have any interest in seeing what's ahead? No, he doesn't care. Okay, he, he did have a quick glance. And I think uh, we're now having express ticket to Tunnel Town. <laughs> oh, he expected a dead heart. Could it be? Where, where did he go? I don't know. I, I, I think our survivor might have just off the record and maybe doesn't need to use that heart then. I think I heard him though. If I'm not mistaken. He's making it to the other side of the map now. No, no, this is off the record. I don't hear, I don't hear him uh, do I injuries. No, no, Wait, no, you're right. It's just ace things, I guess. Yeah. Is <gasps> Isif? Yes, coming up. Now, Derkhar will be an issue. Ooh, he Kill decides it. to leave him. Actually, he decides okay. to just straight up leave him. Okay. Well, yeah, this is a turning point. Very quick tag. Uh, cool. uh, power is on cooldown, so breaking it manually seems to be the play. That probably was not exactly what they had planned. Okay. Oh my god, did I just see a visionary so they can find gems? This is so funny. Really? This is so funny. Someone has the Felix Burke visionary. Oh, oh my to be gen god. efficient, that is very smart. Yeah, just to call out gems and maybe get through the through the corrupt a little bit easier and call them out yeah. ahead of time. Wait, uh, Did he? They, they struggled to get to a pain rest hook, presumably. Because because Ada was blocking the god pellet. Yeah, I think so. Uh, the one that spawns behind this room always. Wow. And oh another god, proper stun through. that prevents our killer from just barging through this pallet. That was huge. Okay. Oh. Oh. That was a great fake, but the mate read it perfectly and got the stun just in time. Yeah. And she has another pallet here. Goodness gracious, this one chase is... They Wait, popped the stick deck? Excuse oh, this me? Is so mean. This is so mean. Oh my lord. There were two chases where the killer had to have had one more half set because of the medkits. Yeah. And now we're looking at one gen left. Not to mention and the decisive the and the body blocks coming from Zaka. Well timed. The... Oh, wow, how did he do it? Oh. How do they keep doing this? Oh my god, that was a very well, uh, a very well executed. I, I don't think you, I don't think you really tried to react to it. I think they just went through the motions quick enough. That was crazy, actually. Did Ada put, pop a syringe? Yeah, I think she did. Keep an eye on Ada in the hut. I think she'll heal in a second. Could it be? <laughs> Another one. Yep. Yep. She's fully healed. Oh my god. What? 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 Blood stop, blood stop uh, pouring on the ground. And Ada is gone. Yeah. How? Is this even a good map for Blight? No, they, they figured that a high tier killer uh, such as this one would struggle here. That's why they sent him here. Yep. And make no mistake, uh, this is not like, keep in mind that if the Blight had had an extra inch at the start of the game, they would have all died. They would have all, all died. Right. Make, make no mistake. It only takes one tiny mistake. One little down when it shouldn't happen, and everything comes down crumbling. I so, mean, heading to extra half states like that is just three. Tough, it's three. Like it yeah, was a styptic. Just... It was a decisive. <laughs> it was the threat of a dead heart coming after the decisive, yeah. and then it was another styptic, and then Ada pops uh, an insta heal. That's nuts, dude.